with the amount of stuff that they're coming out with in their company and where they're trying to go i think MindMed is going to far surpass what a lot of people think they're gonna be long term <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to DreamCoin, where we show you how to invest for a better tomorrow. My name is Tyler, and today I'm going to be bringing you a quick video on the company MindMed, which is currently trading through the OTC market here in the US for stocks, but they're going to be getting a NASDAQ listing on April 27th, which could see a huge rise in their stock price. They were already up quite a bit today, and they do look like a very nice long-term play where I can see this taking over some of the pharma market completely alongside some of the other stuff I've talked about like AIKI and SEAL. Just to get right into it, MindMed is a company that focuses on different things that help uh, with different mental health issues and things like addiction. And they're trying to find ways to improve these for people that are afflicted with those different conditions. Right now, these are the main trials that they're working on with LSD microdosing and experiential therapy being to some of their top two treatments treatments that have been taken a look at by different people. And they're also working on a treatment called 18MC, which is very refined from a prior treatment that was showing very negative side effects, particularly in heart attacks and stuff in people, but shows very promising signs of being able to treat addiction at a root level. Their treatment 18MC is essentially derived from a substance called ibogaine, which comes from a West African shrub. But like I said, in the past, in its prior form it has been shown to have the potential to induce heart attacks in people what they are showing through their own research is that they have a way of kind of just changing the makeup of ibogaine through their process that makes it into their treatment 18 mc and it helps treat addiction without any types of negative side effects towards the heart or any different types of hallucinogenic negative effects that happen when people were taking this previously and also what they are currently experiencing experimenting with is microdosing specifically with LSD, which would be a dose that would not be hallucinogenic. You wouldn't have a trip or anything like that. But just the same as psilocybin has been shown in different studies to help with different types of things that afflict the mind. Microdosing has been shown to help increase focus, creativity, decrease anxiety, and improve a person's mood overall on a longer scale of time, even just with like a single microdose. So what these do is basically give a whole new front of medicine and give a way for people to get treatment and if they can get stuff legally approved for physicians to use different methods of microdosing and different treatments with psilocybin and other previously hallucinogenic drugs that could be used on a smaller scale that would help somebody out in a beneficial way this is only going to put them as a front runner for their segment of the pharma market that's prescribing to these different types of experimental treatments i could see like i said before them and aiki and celos therapeutics being some big movers in the market when this type of stuff gets more widely popular and available for people. And this helps lead me into where I think I'm going to be pricing them on April 27th when they get listed on NASDAQ. Their symbol is going to be MNMD. And right now they were trading around that 352 price going into close. But what makes them interesting is they've been an OTC stock up until this point. And with the amount of stuff that they're coming out with, in their company and where they're trying to go. I think MindMed is going to far surpass what a lot of people think they're going to be long term. Now, as we look at the chart for MindMed right now as an OTC, they had a huge run up back around December where they ran all the way above that $4, about $5 range from under $1. And they've been kind of trending in this middle passage here and they've been trending downwards up until they got this announcement for their OTC stuff. As we look look into the direct listing they went from a bounce of 2.1 to about three and a half dollars here i would expect this to keep rising from where they are now going into next week especially going into the direct listing because a lot of people that are very heavy on otc stocks are going to see this as a nice discount for them especially considering they've already been around that five dollar range and when they actually get to the direct listing i think it could be a very nasty squeeze up i'm i'm thinking they could 
possibly see that 10 to $12 range just from the excitement of going there. But I do think as soon as it direct lists in the next day or two after that, it's going to drop in price a bit. So it's going to have a nice pullback. It's hard to say where it could be. It really just depends on how many people hold on to their stuff. If they come out with any PR, I know they've, they're tying up some different studies here over the next couple of months. And so they could possibly have new data coming out soon that uh, would go alongside their listing to give them more PR and squeeze. So I do see them possibly hitting that 10 to $12 range around that NASDAQ listing. And this could also be a very good squeeze for them long-term because with a new NASDAQ listing, if they skyrocket a ton on the first couple of days, there could possibly be a share offering where they get more money for their research and development because they're heavily invested in trying to get uh, quality research and development for their stuff as we look over time because they're very invested in doing heavy research and development for their company as you can see back for what they've done over time with their different treatments and all those different things even under ten dollars i think this is a very good discount for them over the next couple of years i think if we get more legalization of hallucinogenics on a micro scale for medicinal means this is going to basically allow them uh a entry into a new segment of pharmaceuticals and different things like that as treatments just due to the fact that they have such a different product from a lot of people especially with their stuff they're working on with addiction that could help a lot of people that have issues with uh drinking too much like alcoholism or people that have issues trying to break different like nasty drug habits they had years back and they're trying to like turn their lives around and different things like that and this could basically set up a giant new segment of the market for people to enter and from where this is currently at three 3.5 i think this is severely undervalued still even though it's running up a bit i think over the next two to three years if they get legalization this is easily a 40 50 stock if they are able to get fda approval or something alongside those legalizations i could see the shooting to like uh like 60 to 100 bucks depending over the next few years probably like 2025 really it all just depends on what they can accomplish with their data but if it all shows very promising and the government can give legislation that would allow this to be traded on the broader market there's only going to help them as they go forward in general if you guys want to see more videos i've done on different companies like this that are dealing with experimental medications make sure you check out my video on celos therapeutics and my video on aiki and this will give you more of an impression of why i put more emphasis on companies like these for long-term options in the broader market as a whole other than that that's going to do it for me in this video guys and i'll catch you next time peace